In this video, I wanna talk about the only five colors that matter when it comes to topwater fishing. If you go down the, the aisles at your local tackle dealer, you will find not only a ton of topwaters, but a ton of different colors out there. And I really wanna simplify things today because there's really probably only three that I throw, and there's probably only five that I think you even need to own. So let's go ahead and dive into the topwater colors. Now, real quick, before we get into the video, this one is brought to you by my apparel company, Finn Fishing. Guys, I just wanna let you guys know that I now have my Finn Fishing sun gloves back in stock. This is an item that I actually sold out of kind of during the winter. Finally got them back. A lot of you have been asking about them. So there's three different sizes. You know, I have a large XL. That's what I wear. It's what fits most people. If you have really small hands, you might want that small medium. And if you got really big hands, well, you know what that means. Big gloves. I have a 2X size. You know what I'm saying. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, guys, like I said, there's only five colors of top waters that I really think matter, and I'm gonna go through them right now. Now, the first one is going to be what I call a white shad color. That's what I'm gonna go with, white shad color. So I'm gonna pull up a couple. I have them all right here. This is a uh, Strike King uh, Sexy Dog, one of my favorite little top water baits. And I wanna make it really, really clear with you guys, when it comes to, when I'm saying white shad color, this, to me is the exact same as this arc bone. You know, these are the exact same colors in my mind. This is also the exact same color. If you look at the bottom of these, these are all basically the same. I mean, they're, they're white and you know, they're Berkeley actually did studies where they saw that bass can't, couldn't tell the difference between white and yellow. Okay. Not white and chartreuse, but white in yellow. And so in my opinion, these are all kind of different shades of white. I really don't think it's gonna matter to a bass at all. So although they look a lot different when you're looking at them to a bass, I think they're pretty much the exact same. So guys, anytime I'm fishing around bass that I know that are eating, you know, shad, gizzard shad, if I think that they're eating uh, some sort of bait fish in the water, a minnow style bait, I like to pick up that white kind of shad color a lot. This is also something that I'm going to fish a lot on cloudy days uh, in clear water. You know, I'll, I'll, if I, again, if I think the fish are eating bait fish, you know, for example, I've, I fish up in Oneida, um, I fish in lakes in uh, Michigan, New York, where I think that they're eating like a bait fish called a, I believe it's called a Cisco. Um, and they're more translucent in color, but if it's cloudy out, I want that thing to stand out a little bit. I will go with kind of that shaddish, bonish white color. So that's the one that I probably probably fish, uh, I'd say I fish that one the most out of all of them. Like if you could only afford, hey Tyler, I can only go out and get one color, I would suggest that one. It works in a lot of lakes, even in lakes where the bass don't eat shad. Like I've caught them in my neighborhood ponds off of shad colored top waters. And I've caught them in uh, lakes down in Florida where a lot of bass eat maybe golden shiners still on that shad color or that bone colored top water. So to me, that is one of the most important colors. It's one that I have in every type of top water that I own. Now let's go on to the next one. This is probably the one that I fish pretty equally. It's the, the one that I fish the most with that bone. And that is what I call a translucent colored bait. To me, uh, baits like this, uh, this is a, let's see here. This is a Evergreen JT-115. It's one of my favorite top water baits of all time. And that's actually not because of the color, but because there's no sound to this bait. There's no real rattles to it. It's almost completely silent. And that's why I like this bait. But now we're not talking about sound in top waters. We're talking about colors. I like translucent baits when I am fishing clear water on sunny days, especially if I'm fishing around like still conditions. If it's not, you know, really windy out there, even if it is really windy out there, if it's clear water, if it's, if it's, if sunny skies, I really like that translucent color. And the big thing that I'm trying to do here is I don't want the bass to get too good of a look 
at the bait. They might hear something, you know, above their heads. They might hear the commotion, but you don't really want to give them all the time a really good look at the bait. Now, if it's cloudy, if it's windy, it, it doesn't matter. You actually kind of want the opposite. You want a bass to be able to hone in on that bait. But if you're fishing still conditions, really clear water, that is when I like to pick up the translucent colors like this one right here. And this is, this is like, no matter what the bass are eating. If they're eating bait fish, they could be eating crawdads, they could be eating bluegill. I just like a translucent color in really clear water. It seems to get more bites. Now, the thing with all these colors is it's very important to just experiment. See what the bass like. If you're having bass T-bone this bait, if everyone that you catch has the, the top hook, they have it completely in their mouth, you've probably got the right color. It's when you start kind of getting fish that are hooked on the outside of the face um, or fish that come off or fish that just miss the bait, that's when I think it's important to start switching up the colors. A lot of times I've been uh, on lakes where the, the conditions go from you know cloudy to sunny and I'm fishing a bone colored or a shad colored bait and it seems like they start missing it. I switch over to that translucent color and it seems like they start getting it right away. So always experiment. Translucent colors though are definitely one that you need to have. Now let's talk about one that I fish a lot and I don't fish, I have the color right now kind of more in a spook, but I actually fish this more in a popper. I don't have my popper box out right now, but um, what I like is a bluegill colored bait and a bluegill colored, this little arc uh, top water looks perfectly to me like a bluegill. And the biggest thing that I'm looking for is a little bit of orange on the belly. If I think that bass are eating bluegill, I really like to have a bait that does have a little bit of orange on the throat, a little bit of orange on the belly. I do think that bass can see it a little bit better at times. And if you can be just that much closer to matching the hatch, matching what the bass are eating, I do think it can help you to get a few more bites. Now, like I said, I don't throw it a lot with this uh, with a walking style bait like this. I throw it a lot though with a popper and I throw it a lot with a frog. You know, those are two baits, a popper and a frog that I use a lot when I'm trying to mimic a bluegill. And so if I'm fishing around a bluegill bed, if I'm just fishing up shallow, maybe I'm skipping that bait uh, underneath of a dock, maybe I'm just casting that bait uh, around some vegetation, that, that kind of green pumpkin, orange throat, white belly type color. I like that, that bluegill kind of color. Like I said though, it may not always make a difference uh, to the bass. It's, it's just about experimenting and it just gives me a little bit of confidence if I know that they're eating bluegill. All right, let's go on to the next color. This is a really good one here um, and that is black. Straight up black like this little super spook junior. Uh, this black is, Black is the bait that I go with a lot in muddier or off-colored uh, water, you know? So whether that's a spook, a popper, a frog, a buzz bait, I really like black in kind of stained or off-color water. I also like black when I'm fishing in really cloudy conditions. We all know how well black baits work at night, you know, when there's very, there, when there's no visibility, right? Because they kind of silhouette better. Same thing applies when it's really cloudy. The, the conditions are dimmer. If you're fishing even a little bit stained water, you would be surprised at how dark it is just a foot under the surface of that water. So black to me silhouettes a little bit better. It helps you to get more bites. Now I do want to say a couple of things real quick about black that are very specific to black. If you are fishing around fish that are eating cicadas, you know, for example, uh, I think that there's uh, going to be a cicada hatch later this year, kind of in the Illinois, Indiana region. We had this a couple of years ago in Ohio. I know some parts of Ohio are going to get hit this year. Uh, I also know that this is happening or happened in South Carolina. Black is a good color. It, black is a really, really good color during the cicada uh, hatches for whatever reason. Um, obviously, some cicadas are kind of black. They also have some orangish on them, but I just like that black or that bug colored is what I'm calling it. Um, it's a really, really good bait. The other time that black does well is kind of a, um, it's kind of a, you just got to try it type of thing. And that's in really clear still water, like those areas where I'm going to throw the translucent color, 
If it's cloudy, if it's clear, if it's, it, it almost doesn't make sense to throw black, sometimes for whatever reason, the, that is when black can work. I don't get it. I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you. I don't get it, but I've just seen these few situations over the years where it's like, it is the deal to be throwing a black bait in those conditions. So always have a black uh, top water uh, tied up. Also really good in the morning and the evening. Again, low light conditions. Uh, black top water is a really, really good one. Now here's the one that I throw um, the least out of all of them. Um, and that is Chrome. But a lot of guys really, really like Chrome. The biggest reason that I like to use Chrome is when I feel like I am trying to draw fish from a distance. For example, a couple of years ago, I was fishing down in uh, South Carolina, or yeah, South Carolina, where I was fishing Lake Hartwell. Um, they have herring in that lake. I, I was drawing fish out of 16 to 20 foot of water to come up to hit a topwater bite, bite. And it just seemed like the chrome worked the best in a lot of those situations. And I have heard this, I'm not sure if it's like, science or not so don't don't quote me on this but i've heard that the chrome with the flash from the sun it will flash down into the water that makes some sense i would really like to know your guys's opinion on that though have you seen chrome that flashes like that i, I just don't know I, I would have to get 15 or 20 foot in the water and and throw a chrome bait over my head to see if that actually is happening that actually might make a great video Maybe we should do that. All right, guys, those are the top five top water colors, the ones that I use the most. If you guys wanna watch a video on top waters, for example, a frog, I just did one over on Bass Fishing HQ on a really new top water frog that I think is really good. I'm gonna leave that linked right up here. Also, if you guys wanna check out the sun, uh, the, the sun gloves, click right here. I will see you guys tomorrow.